Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Grip Fix. Hey everybody, it's Griffin. Let's get into some movie news. But first up, I wanted to talk about a movie that I watched recently that I did kind of a quick video on, like a first reaction, uh, but kind of talk about it more in depth. And that movie is X by Ty West. This is an A24 uh, movie, and I actually watched this in my first ever A24 screening room. And part of like a little bonus for that was at the end, they showed a quick teaser trailer for the movie Pearl, which is going to be a prequel to X that Ty West filmed with uh, Mia Goth at the same time that they were filming X. So that's really exciting news. I'm super excited to see that movie. And it's just, you know, an all around like really cool idea to do that. So the trailer for this movie, for me, I don't know if for anyone else, but it made me think that something paranormal was going on in the movie. Really my only negatives for the movie was it was a little bit one note or surface level. Like once the movie really got started, you got the full gist of it. The whole movie was absolutely beautiful. It had like a grainy type look to it at certain times and like some orange and sepia tones. And it really looked like a movie from, like a horror movie from the 70s. And this movie was absolutely that, a, a love letter to 70s slasher horrors. It had really good practical effects, really good on-screen kills, uh, lots of blood, lots of gore, and really phenomenal acting all around, but especially from Mia Goth. We are officially a quarter way through the year, and I'd say that uh, it's not been a bad year for movies so far. Usually the standouts come in the third and fourth quarters of the year, so like the last half, but I think we've had some pretty good um, movies come out already. Not all theater releases, but some really good uh, streaming and VOD releases. For a minute, let's talk director's cuts or extended unrated cuts. I'm all for them when the movie's good as it is. Matt Reeves has gone on record saying that the, that there is no R-rated or extended director's cut of The Batman. However, they did go, then go on to release a deleted scene. That to me says, okay, so you have uh, clips from the movie that aren't just raw pieces of film, but fully edited, fully produced scenes that aren't in the original cut of the film. That, to me, says that there is a director's cut of the movie. Kind of talking along in that same vein, the upcoming horror film, You Won't Be Alone, which at the time of this recording, I think it has already come out, but it's just in selected theaters. You Won't Be Alone's runtime has been cut down from the original posted runtime online, two hours, or like maybe a little bit over two hours, and it was cut down to an hour and 49 minutes. Now, I don't know if this was just a mistake or, you know, someone's error, or if the movie was actually cut down. There was nothing said about it, no kind of statement or anything like that, so I'm just wondering as to why, and does this mean that we will eventually get an unrated extended director's cut of this film. We've recently got a few pretty lengthy horror movies that are getting really good ratings and reviews. They are The Cursed, X, and You Won't Be Alone. These are all at the top of my watch list. I am like so super pumped for all of these horror films coming out. It's just a great time for horror right now. Great time for film in general, really. Not only that, but on the horizon or the distant future, we have Wolf Creek 3, Terrifier 2, and uh, this Chris Stuckman debut feature 
film, which is a horror. I plan on doing a full video on these uh, films um, topics. So let's get into what is out now. Number one, Windfall, the uh, Jesse Plemons dark comedy thriller, also starring Jason Siegel, is now streaming on Netflix. I got a chance to check that one out. I thought it was pretty good. It uh, had its suspenseful moments. I thought there were certain certain parts of it that it was good at building tension. It didn't really build, I didn't really feel like it built throughout the whole film, um, but then it had some breaks of some pretty funny moments, you know, that I actually laughed out loud at. I thought it was good, good performances, I liked it. Number two, Deep Water, the Anna de Armas and Ben Affleck dark drama thriller uh, is streaming on Hulu right now. Number three, Top Boy season two is out now on Netflix. Uh, I'm really excited uh, uh, that this came back, but if you're just starting this series, make sure that you go back and watch the two seasons of Top Boy Summer House first. So I mentioned earlier that the A24 slasher horror X uh, recently hit theaters and then the A24 screening room, and now it's making its way onto uh, VOD streaming. I mentioned uh, just a little bit ago about Chris Duckman's debut feature film. Uh, he did a Kickstarter to get this funded. It got fully funded and actually went way over. It actually um, broke a record, becoming the highest funded uh, horror film in Kickstarter history. Number six, Extraordinary, is now on Shudder. Let's talk about what is coming soon. Number one, Watcher, starring Micah Monroe. This thriller uh, has a new teaser trailer out right now. Uh, it looks really slick, stylish, atmospheric. Uh, it's supposed to be in theaters June 22nd. Number two, The Cellar, starring Alicia Cuthbert, uh, is a Shudder original horror we got a trailer for it, and it looks pretty intense and out there. Uh, you know, it's a paranormal horror. It is also on Shutter now as well. Number three, Bodies, 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 interesting title, is the new A24 slasher horror. Uh, it got a lot of festival praise, and then I believe A24 snatched it up right away at the festival it debuted at. It's due out sometime this year, but no release date yet, no trailer yet. Wolf Creek 3 has officially gotten a release date, finally. It is set to release September 8th this year. The new trailer for A24's upcoming horror, Men, dropped. This is a full trailer, so now there is a teaser and a full trailer out for that if you want to check those out. The next two films from my original theater must-sees list for this year are coming out soon. They are The North Man, which comes out April 22nd, and Jurassic World 3, which comes out June 10th. So look out for those at your local theaters. There is now a trailer available to watch for the upcoming dark comedy thriller Duel. Looks pretty good. And not really in movie news, but David Spade has a new special coming to Netflix sometime in April, I believe. And that's going to do it for this episode of Griff Picks Movie News and Reviews. As always, thanks for watching and for hanging out. Catch you next time. Bye.